The boys in blue, powder blue, three, two, one. Are Westchester police now the fashion police? Three, two, one. Are these any good? Is that Beth? Yes. Hold on. Three, two, one. The look, the feel of cotton, the fabric of our cops? Give it to me. Hello? Why? He's a five-year-old three-legged pit bull with a heart of gold. Coming up, you're gonna meet Rusty. He's our pet of the week. I'm all about tracking people down that don't follow the rules. Should you be worried? Oh yeah. You can't hide from me forever. Here at News Action News, we cover the story top to bottom, front to back, inside out, around the circumference, and right through the diameter. We do it every day. We walk out our door. But what you don't know is it might kill you. Oh, these are the new hires, am I right? I just wanted to ask you what kind of cake you like. This is Dorothy. She's our most veteran news reporter and party planner. We're having a little get together for everyone at the end of the day. Everyone gets a chance to meet you and say hello. So what kind of cake? Anything. I like it all. Anything chocolate. Uh-oh, we've got a black chocoholic over here. I'm vanilla, but I love chocolate too. Okay, see you soon. Lots of luck. Chief. Why did Beth cancel our story? No idea. Maybe she's giving it to one of the new hires? You think? I'm just guessing, Vosad. Am I mean, am I getting fired? What's going on? Someone is. I'm getting the story back, all right? I'm getting the story back and we'll head out soon, all right? So, oh, Vosad. Yeah. Maybe put together another reel while you're at it? Shit, you're right. You're right. I will. OK, all right. <laughs> Scared. Look, this station is last in the radius. We either turn this thing around or we're gonna be replaced by an infomercial. What the hell? Why'd you pull the plug on the shoot? Hi, Gary. This is Randy and Vanessa, our new hires. Hi. Can I talk to you in your office, please? Sure. Excuse us. Two new hires? Why? Because they represent something we don't have here. Are you getting rid of people? No. I had a great story. Casual Fridays for cops, that's an exclusive. Absolutely, and this isn't a punishment, Gary. Do you understand me? What I need from you, I need you to show Vanessa and Randy around this place. Show them where everything is, how this place works. You're the most qualified to do this, Gary. This is ridiculous. You're gonna have to show them around, Gary. Gary! Did you meet the new hires yet? Now there's even less time for my stories. Oh, that Vanessa girl's straight out of college, for Christ's sake. Yeah, pretty college. You know, I used to be the hot young thing 15 years ago. Oh, don't look so surprised. All right, maybe 20. It's not about looks. Look at me. We're here to tell stories, Joyce. Yeah, well, you know what? I didn't even have to tell stories. I used to be able to open up the phone book and read from it, and men and lesbians would tune in to watch me. They're gonna replace me with her, aren't they? File cabinets, uh, spray paint, uh, hand sands, new calendars, more cubicles. Hey, TJ, I need you to do a revision on my reel. Oh, big guy, you're gonna have to talk to Beth about that. I am stones deep in this joy stuff right now. All right, okay, we can do it tonight. I just, I gotta get this thing done right away, okay? What's the rush, Gare, huh? Did you finally cover something with some diversity? What'd you say to me? If you watch your reel, you would think the city is 99.9% .9 white. Gare, I got a question for you. Have you ever met a black person? Yes, I just met Randy in the hallway. Hi. I'm Vanessa. Hi, I'm TJ. TJ, cue up my reel for her so she can really see a, a true veteran in the field and really pay attention to how I craft that story. That's the key, okay? I'll be back in, uh, in a minute, okay? I'm not going to show you his reel. Oh, thank God. Is he leaving the station? I have no idea what he's doing. He recuts his reel every week. Can he even get hired from a reel? Honestly, I don't think anyone gets hired by reels anymore. I think it's all connections and who you know. I think I'm blowjobs, right? Exactly. Blowjobs all over the place. Blowjobs all over the place. <laughs> you know, I know a reporter that cold called Brian Cameron at News 4 with a blowjob offer. No way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't tell you her name, but she's pretty high up now. Ever watched a show called The Nightly News? 
How'd she get his number? Another thing you might have heard of, Google? Oh, Google. Mm, How yeah. about that? Mm, pretty cool. Yeah. Well, why don't you Google Bill Flynn for me? NBC's Bill Flynn? Yeah. You want to blow him? Uh, I'd blow him for a network job. Fair enough. And here it is. <clears throat> Voicemail. Hi, my name is Vanessa, and I'm a young reporter just starting out. I have blonde hair, blue eyes, and I love older men. Gotta be honest with you, Bill, I am so attracted to you, and I would love to blow you. Nothing big, or, you know, just a regular, old, boring blow job. Um, you can contact me at 914-555-3778. Oh, come on. <laughs> was that your number? Was that your own number? No, no way, dude. That was my grandmother's nursing home. <laughs> <laughs> That's worse. That's totally worse. They're going to look at you differently now. I don't go visit her. Vanessa, we got to go. Come on. Hey, Gary. Hey. What's so funny? Uh. Vanessa just cold called Bill Flynn about a job offer. NBC Bill Flynn. Yeah. I got his voicemail, so I offered him a blowjob. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, we got to go. Beth wants to see you. Come on. Hey, Vanessa. It was a pleasure meeting you, all right? Try not to suck too much dick on your way to the top. Why would you say Try that? Try and stop me, TJ. All right, game on. <laughs> hey, Gare. Buddies, all right? Yeah, is this locked or jammed? I yeah, they, they get jammed up here. Uh... That was a welcome here prank. Wow. Well, hey, welcome to the place. <laughs> yeah. See if I can get this for you. Oh, man. <sighs> Whose desk is that? Uh, that's, uh, got a Vossit. What's his name? Vossett. Uh, Gary? Vossett. Yeah, Gary. Vossett? Gary. Yeah, Vossett. Yeah. The uh, Westchester Police Department is starting a casual Friday policy, and uh, the chief of police is, like, walking around in, like, chinos and, what are they, khakis and polos. See if you can get, like, him and, like, some of the other cops, like, walking the runway on this, kind of jazzing it up a little bit. Yeah? OK. Good. All right. Um, are you sure, though, it's OK to take Gary's story? I don't, isn't he gonna be upset? Yeah, he's gonna be really hurt, really, really hurt, but you know, it's it's fine. He'll get something else and he'll move on. Before I forget, the police chief's name is Bill Fellows. Bill Fellows. Thanks, Beth. Okay. okay. Great, Bill. Thanks. I'm looking forward to seeing you too. Well, I hope you take your pants off. It's gonna make my job a lot easier. <laughs> Great, I'll see you soon. That was my niece. No, 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 no. We don't have any sort of... Uh, oh, oh, my God! <sighs> you all right, Bosa? <sighs> Yikes. What happened to your hand? Temper tantrum. Is it okay? Yeah, I'm fine, thanks. Good. Okay, story ideas. Sure, I'll start. Uh, there was a great story in this morning's paper about a guy who had a valuable story, and then actually his boss took it from him and gave it to somebody else. Knock it off. Does anyone else have any story ideas? Yes. Uh, PS15 is putting together a hot lunch ladies' calendar. Ooh. There's a plumber in Tucko that's also a hand model. Uh, two teenagers were texting each other and had a head-on collision on foot. Okay, uh, did they have any visible scarring, concussions, any uh, head trauma, brain trauma? Yeah, possibly. Good, thank you. Is that so hard? Hmm, Randy, I've got a black story for you. There's this woman in Yonkers, she's black, and she's opening her home to all these people that don't have jobs and don't have any food, and it's a really positive story, but I mean, like, if you get over there and, like, something seems hanky, you know, I think you should pursue that, that'd be great. Because a low-income person has to be taking advantage of that kind of situation. I don't know. I mean, I don't want to think that way. I really don't want to be like that, Randy. OK, I'm all over it. Great, thank you, Randy. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. You know what? Let me take this story. 
because you know what? Randy's new here. He's not familiar with our neighborhoods yet. Yeah, I don't think that's such a hot idea, Gary. Sure it is. Right, Randy? Yeah, fine with me. Randy just said it's fine. <laughs> okay, take Miz. Beth? No, absolutely not. Give me Chief. No, Chief is working with Vanessa. Then put Miz with Vanessa. This story's too important. I'm not working with Miz. He's lazy, plus he smells like a blimpy. I don't care. You're with Miz. Fine. It's ridiculous, Beth. Ow! Ah! Ah! Hey, how'd you get Bill Flynn's number? Why, Gary? You want a dick in your mouth, too? Shut up! The only thing I wrap my mouth around is a long, hard microphone. You don't need to be given BJs when you got the reporting skills that I do. And Bill Flint's gonna know that when he sees tonight's newscast. Hey, give me the number. Here. Oh, Gary, do you need me to dial for you? I'm always on the go, and I love jazz. <laughs> this is my neighborhood, and these are my people. Hey, there's my butcher over there. Hi, Sal. Take a whip. That's fresh sausage. This city is one big jazz session. <laughs> I'm Bill Flynn. Trust me, I am. Cut. Print it. <laughs> Let's go, boy. Kang Su barbecue, Korean and Japanese barbecue. We're not going there. We'll do it after, OK? How far is Korea from Japan? Shh, just shut up. I'm on the phone. Go for Bill. Hey, Bill. This is Gary Vosad. I'm a senior reporter at News Action News in Westchester. Uh, how'd you get this number? Uh, I found it on Google. Come on. Oh, that internet. <laughs> what can I do for you? Don't stop here. Keep going. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, come on. Cut it out, man. Get your head Hello. off my wheel. I swear to God, miss. Hey, come on. You can't drive and talk on the phone at the same time. Hello? Yes, I, I wanted to invite you to a party we're having tonight for Vanessa. I just think it'd be great if you were there, and, and plus I'm putting together a special report. It's exclusive, and it's got minorities in it, so it should be a real... Wait, wait, who's Vanessa? Vanessa Chance, she's a new reporter at News Action News. I think you spoke to her a couple times. Oh, Vanessa, Vanessa! Mmm, <laughs> sure, voicemail check, I got it. No, I, I right, anyway, we're having that party tonight. It's gonna be at Dukes and White Plains. I'll be there. That is, that is great. Uh, I'm so excited to show you my work. Just to uh, confirm, uh, Vanessa's got real blonde hair, real big eyes, right? <laughs> Eldorado 3, Chief was raving about that place. He said it was exotic. Shut up for a minute. What yes. Who do you think Chief eats? She does. She does, Bill. Mm hmm. Okay, well, I'll see you tonight. Get back in this car right now, miss. Are you listening to me? You want a bear claw? No. You want like a Danish or a crawler or something? No, I don't. All right, I'll be right back. No, 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 miss, 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 miss. So Gabe, did you find a new place to live yet? Yeah, I'm renting from this old, well, older woman up in Scarsdale. I met her in a chat room. Oh, so you're. <laughs> yeah, I'm banging the shit. I'm. We're going like most nights, almost every night. But, but I'm paying her to stay there. I mean, I'm paying rent. It's, it's all legit. It's. She gives me receipts and everything. It's... Sure. Excuse me. What? You farted? A little too? Oh, and Edward R. Murrow? I don't know what that is. Lemonade and iced tea. That's an Arnold Palmer. I don't think so. That's ginger ale and grenadine. Nope, that's a Shirley Temple. Then what's an Edward R. Murrow? It doesn't exist. Just give me a Ted Koppel. Sure. Good, that exists. Good, good to hear. Not a shame, Angel Face. Can you use a light? No. Miz, close your eye. It's freaking me out. Miss Jones, Gary Vosan, News Action News. We hear you're a good Samaritan, but why all the generosity? Uh, that's nice, but I don't think I want to say anything. Yeah, but what makes somebody do something like that? Look, this is what I think. Times are tough, and a lot of people are struggling to... Now you're fired, Ken Carlton! Miss, did you get that? Uh, I'm not sure. Come on, Miss! Did you get that one? No. Come on, Miss! Hold on, hold on. Hey, amigo, stop all, stop all. Why are you throwing cinder blocks? I got fired. All right, let's get him another cinder block. I just need you to do it again. My photographer missed it the first time. 
Do you want to be on TV or not? Did you get it? You missed. You don't worry about it. We'll dub in a sound effect later. Come on, let's go. Let's get out of here. Come on. Hey, Bill. What are you doing here? Joyce, is that really you? <laughs> yes. Actually, uh, I'm here to see Vanessa. Oh, uh, of course you are. Yeah, I think she's got great potential. Uh, I'm sure you do. Uh, listen, I'm sorry NBC didn't work out. Yeah, me too. Me too. Yeah. It wasn't you, Joyce. You know that. Everybody knows that. No. You know that. No. Vanessa is a very pretty, young, young girl. Mm -hmm. Huh. Joyce, you know, uh, it's great seeing you. You're the best. I think I... I think I see someone I know over there, so I, I better go over and say hello. That's a there. cardboard cutout of John Madden. No, that's not him. Um, you know, I hear him upstairs. Yeah, yeah, and we're heading back now. We got great stuff. No, 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 don't go anywhere. Stay there. I want you to cover it live. No, Beth, I can't. Why? Be because I'm, you're, you're, because amazing. I need to there's, be there's at that party. There's violence, there's pandemonium, there's No, movies. no, no, Beth, awesome. listen to me for one second. You're live in two. Damn it! Hello? 30 seconds to go, Vosai. TJ, TJ, it's Gary. Is Bill Flynn there yet? Yeah. OK, OK, look, whatever you do, don't let him leave, OK? 10 seconds. OK, don't let him leave, OK? Don't let him leave, OK? Five. TJ, four. Did you hear me? Three. TJ! Two. Hello, you're watching News Action News. We begin with breaking news out of Yonkers. Gary Vosai live on the scene. Gary. Ted, when I say it's a riot in Yonkers, it's not people laughing. It's people causing chaos in the streets over tough financial times and high unemployment. What's happening out there? This. It all started with one of these, a cinder block. Ted, when people get upset in this neighborhood, they throw these through car windows. Wow, that is heavy stuff. Yeah, things have gone for bad <laughs> and worse out here. <laughs> Children that are Scoop ya. Uh, oh. Badunk, badunk. Yeah! out here, myself and my photographer getting yelled at, and we're getting pushed, as you can see. It's just a frightening and terrifying scene altogether. Back to you, Ted. Gary, where are the police? They're not here, Ted, that's for sure. I haven't seen one cop in a uniform yet. All right, good work, Gary. Stay safe. Hey, TJ, what's up? Hey, I just wanted to tell you that uh, Bill... Excuse me. You, Vanessa? Yes. I'm network anchor Bill Flynn. You left me a message? Yeah. Right. Hi, Bill. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I am really sorry about that message. Oh. Oh, right. Yeah, I... It's, it's all right. I got the joke. I am really embarrassed right now. This is a stupid joke. No, really, it's fine. It's fine. I appreciate a good joke. That's what they all say about me, so... Um... <laughs> oh, I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> yeah, I... How about a drink? Uh, sure. Uh, Ted Koppel, the bartender makes the best Koppels in town. I don't know what that is. Really great. Oh, blow my mind. That, I didn't mean it that way. That's all right. God, everybody's got a boner for this chick. Have, is that have, really? Have well, you seen her? It's just blonde hair. It's... You know, there's plenty of people in Norway and Sweden that got blonde hair too, right? That blonde hair is like magic. <sighs> it's like music. Is she friggin' Rapunzel now? Something. I'd, I'd climb up her hair. You know, it's not all about looks, right? It's about, it's a lot about looks. We use badges to uh, signify honor and rank, and so the idea is with Casual Fridays, we're gonna mimic uh, sort of the same idea by accessorizing with some of these guys here. Jimmy Buffett concert, 1978. Raw Sun God, Egyptian trip with my wife. This is Knights of Columbus pancake breakfast last year, I believe. It's casual. But it's proud. News action news. I think the cops look good. All right, thanks, Vanessa. Good job on that story. You really liked it. Of course, maybe a little too much police chief, not enough of you. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Bill. You should come into Manhattan for an interview next week. Really? I'll show you around the station. I don't know what to say. Say yes, Bill. I'll see you next week. Yes, Bill. I will see you next week. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta watch where I'm going.
It's next story, nothing to LOL about two kids headbutt while texting. Randy Washington. Hey, man. Story. He's gone. I'm sorry. Bill's gone? Jay? Yeah. You're never going to believe this. Uh, remember that prank call that I made to Bill Flynn? Yeah. Well, he knew it was a prank. He bought me a milk. Weird. And then he offered me an interview at NBC. What? Yes. I, Whoa. I know. Crazy, right? Hold on. You got an interview at NBC? Yes. Good news. He saw your story? Yeah, we watched it together, and then he offered me an interview. Holy crap. I said yes. Just like that? Yeah, just like that. That is amazing, Vanessa. Congratulations. Thank oh you. Oh, my god. Let me go buy you a drink. Okay. Gare, drinks. You let's in? do this. Come on. Let's do this. Yeah. Hey, guys, did he see my story? Uh, I'm not sure. Garrett, do you want a drink or not? Come on. Can I get two milks? Uh, this is good chocolate cake. Yeah. Doodle.